a beautiful day. African based. I'm open to everything. I love all styles of music. And some people think that I'm just like this jazz bass player guy. But there's a lot more depth than that in, in my playing. I guess. When you're recording, the same thing at the end of the day should be true because it goes back to the performance. But you might spend a little while developing a concept or a part, coming up with a specific part that you're going to play. Or, you know, maybe on this section I'm going to play in this octave. Uh, in the chorus I'm going to bump up to the higher range. So, just, you know, thinking more, trying to create parts of the song. You have time in the studio to do that. Live, a lot of times it's on the fly. It's improvised. It's a jam thing. So keep your head held high. But the recording should be about capturing a performance, not cutting and pasting every bar of the performance. What does the music need? Or more importantly, what does the music not need? Whether you play piano, whether you play bass, whether you're a vocalist, whether you play trumpet, or whether you play pickup sticks, you know, you make music with what it is that you do. Really, all that uh, uh, is, is an extension of who you are. But as a performer, as an artist, trying to tune into that source and trying to connect to that, it helps put my ego aside. It really allows me to serve the music. You have to serve the music, you have to listen to it and evaluate how does my role, how does my purpose fit into this song? That's what you do, you serve the song. If, if any time you let your ego get in front of what it is you're trying to project, that's when there's gonna be problems with music. The instrument's almost irrelevant at that point, and it's who are you, what are you trying to say, and how can you project that? So it's, it's getting into that place because music is a spiritual thing, whether it has words or whether it's instrumental music.
A, trying to write the material, re to record it, just, you know, to have the equipment to make that happen, um, figure out the bass parts, which bass I'm going to use, you know, what keypads I'm doing, key parts I'm doing, designate that stuff to other players, you know, guitar, keys, drums, percussion, vocalists, coordinating all that, making the session, recording the sessions, you know, making sure that I'm an engineer and doing a good job on the recording side, uh, then editing all that, you know, comping tracks, you know, deleting things and that sort of thing, and then mixing, which is what I'm going to start doing today, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to share this CD with all of you who happen to watch this and listen to it because I've truly, truly poured out my heart and soul and put it deep into this project on every level. You might have something in mind that you want to play, and all of a sudden you hear, oh, that was cool what he just did. Boom, that might totally change the whole direction. And so that, that's it's kind of the ebb and flow live versus the ebb and flow studio. Studio, you can try your ideas, and you can listen back to it, and try to be objective. That's the hard part with serving the music. If it's doing that, if it's, if it's achieving that, then you've done your thing. You've done what you're supposed to do.